amazing. Hey everybody, we are about to fight Crota. We just killed the Death Singer and cleared out all those punks, which is a really annoying part, by the way. So you stand in the center of this little room. These little walls go up. Those are you can't shoot through that stuff yet. Um, and in a second here, the walls are glass. Where the hell is going to go down? And you got to clear out this area. Um, so you'll see I do that. I, I got tired at this point. I don't know what was going on, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to kill you guys as quickly as I can because I don't want to deal with you. Um, but yeah, just clear them out. And if you have a weapon that can heal you uh, with life support, you know, uh, on kills or something like that, that's nice. Uh, I don't suggest Red Death. I think I have Red Spectre on because Red Death is an exotic and then you can't use your raise ladder and it's harder to beat Crota, blah, blah, blah. All right, I cleared out most of the rooms. We're almost there. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm doing another video of Crota, because I already have one, this one's going to go more slowly, and hopefully that'll help some people who couldn't really keep up with the other one. So the idea here is, of course, uh, I'm probably going to actually, we're going to get the chalice here so that we heal, we can regen health. You know, we're going to hit the um, sword bear, hopefully get the relic. And I'm going to hit him, hit Crota just a couple of times each time uh, and, and try not to go full on, try hard, just because people may have a hard time. Maybe they can't do it perfectly. Maybe that's why they're here. Um, so I'm going to try to hit him a couple of times each time and then I'm going to leave whether or not I can get a third one in if I wanted to or not is irrelevant. Um, I'm just going to play it in such a way that if you don't play perfectly, you can still look at this and go, wait a minute, I can still win, you know, because this guy's playing it perfectly and look at him. So our idea, our idea here is to hit him a couple of times, back out, um, and uh, we're going to get the, the sword bear in just a second here and hit Crota another couple of times. So what that means is you don't have to play fantastic uh, in order to um, beat Crota. You know, I got my don't touch me gauntlet on in case you're wondering why I'm going invisible when they hit me. That's why. Um, you don't have to play fantastic to beat Crota here, but keep in mind that means you're going to have to fight ogres, okay? So anyway, we're just waiting for the sword bearer. You know, it takes a while, um, and, and realize Crota is now on the other side of the map. He's not where we just killed him or attacked him. He's over here. Um, so I, I go here because I don't want to be shot by Crota. Of course, you can still get hit by those boomer knights on the side. You know, I hit Crota, and I mess up here actually. I think. Um, and then I just yeah, I just hit him once big, and then slash at him because I didn't know how much time I had left. And again, the idea here is not to play perfectly. It's to let you know that you can play imperfectly and be Crota. Uh, and there are people who need that, definitely. Uh, so pretty soon we're going to come up against a couple of ogres. Uh, that's what happens if you take too long to beat Crota. Um, and they're totally beatable. You know? I may have said this before, but I've had people tell me they're not. They are. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. Just to show you kind of how that goes. After two sword bearers, you have to kill the ogres to get a third sword bearer to come out. And the ogres coming out doesn't mean that Crota is enraged or anything like that. Uh, it takes longer than that. There we go. Uh, Raise lighter is very effective if you actually hit them. Uh, <laughs> if you miss, uh, just make sure you have a lot of ammo uh, or that your heavy ammo synth is not on cooldown. Um, that's important sometimes. So, yeah, you know, playing sort of wildly here. Um, not professionally or anything. So those two are dead, and that means the sword bearer will come out again. Now notice how low I am on ammo. Um, so you might want to be mindful of that. And be prepared to use a heavy ammo synth if necessary. Because again, if you don't play perfectly, then things are a little different. Alright, so we have our relic in here. I think I get kind of confused because I don't know where Crota is at this point. Um, he's way on the other side. I, I took the wrong way. And yet, watch and see, and, and we'll be able to beat him even so. Um, not the ideal scenario, by the way. Oh, there's my phone. Great. Uh, all right, so we're going to jump across here. Hit him with our raise lighter. Hit him with this a couple times and then do one swing. You know, um, And that's it, man. Hopefully that showed you that you don't have to play it perfectly. You know, there are people who try to get three, four even swings in every time uh, sometimes that's not really possible for us so good luck guys um uh yeah that's it all right see you next time